Hello everyone, this is Cao from Vietnam and yeah, this is my first time doing a vlog in English because my native language is not uh, English so please correct me if anything I say is wrong whether it's been grammar or from a personal point of view so move back to the key topic today Have you ever experienced several bad things happening as one within a short period of time such as four months to one year When faced with this challenge, some of which may be out of your control or happen suddenly, so how do you overcome them? If yes, please comment below because I would learn to to I, I would like to learn from you or be inspired from your story, from your solution. It might not only help me but also others viewer, viewers who are also watching this video. So let's get started. Today is Saturday, December 9 and is this a Christmas season? What are you preparing for your Christmas? I usually like to sleep in on Saturday morning after a late movie night but I'm planning to get up early next Sunday for a morning run <laughs> Is this a bit awkward, right? Yeah, this is, would be my daily routine in the weekend because I'm, I'm selling some product on e-commerce so I'm trying to pack in the product for customer the zipper is ready on their ground and yeah, cleaning some stuff it would be my, my weekend and of course spending time for studies and something new yeah it is great I wish I could, I could hang out with someone, <laughs> with the person that I love the most right now. Yeah, so back to the key topic today. I, so yeah, my troubles started four months ago. They first began with a how is Sue. I still remember that I have a severe gastroesophageal reflux disease. You know, like when. I eat everything I start to vomit. I only need to eat a little bit to vomit. And then I got COVID-19 in sequelae for the fifth time. Can you believe that? How many times did you get the COVID-19? Can you keep comment below? Yeah, and then we let me a bronchial test. And you know, at that time I was so stressed because I, I have been taking medicine for For more than two months in a row, but didn't see much improvement. Even though I have changed my lifestyle and my eating habit and exercise more, but you know when you have to when you have to take medicine continuously, your body will become very tired. And and at that time I was so stressed. However, I still have to maintain my current job. At that time I only have one choice: if I quit my job, it would have a significant impact on my income and I would not be able to pay for my many spend. And if that happened, I would be even more stressed and my health wouldn't improve so much for sure. So I decided to face the problem of like how stated and what burden at the same time. Many of you may wondering like, why I didn't ask my family for help? But you know what? I am already 30 years old and for sure I will face with many challenges and in the futures and to be more mature and independent. I need to learn to solve problems on my own and there's additional several reasons for my decision that I cannot share here. And along with that, if I only have to face with True problem is when be nothing to worry about. Like res the responsibility of, of uh, helping my uh, granddaughters pay for her university's tuition. Like when she decide to 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 move and study in Ho Chi Minh City. Like how do you say? Is 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 take me? Uh, is take a toll on me? But. How I can abandon hers? I simply love and care about her futures. 
with only her mother, who is primarily a school teacher with a meager salary. Like, how, ha how she can support her child to, to have her study and provide a better future? Like, sadly, but the burden keep filling up on me. No choice. I have to try my best. Because for so in the future, there's so many things that I, I have to face a week on my own. So just try to, to face a week from now, try to study from now, try to adapt from now. Have you ever wondered how I can overcome her university high tips and fees with only one income from my current job. Luckily, I know Thai language and I have passion for online business on, on e-commerce and I also have run business on, 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 on Lazada, TikTok, Shopee and it would help me to earn more income and in, in, in part, I used to make is this because I used to make a lot of, of, of vlog relating, between, relating to to, to Vietnam and, and, and Thai countries and there's so many viewers from Thailand and uh, many Thai business owners contact me to collaborate on business so uh, from that I learned that uh, the efforts from the past have resulted in the futures so there's nothing I so I, I didn't do nothing for for for, for without any like impactful result in the futures. Yes. However, when this opportunity came, I faced other challenge with my relationship. The fact that I spent time and energy on many things at once made it difficult for me to balance my relationship. It's where I was truly realistic and wanted to sell everything quickly and quickly, but I accidentally hurt the feeling of person I love. I even didn't pay attention to small detail of other person feeling. We led to we led to, to problem in our relationship, and it drained my energy when many things happened at the same time. But then I gradually share my problem with people with the people around me. Gradually, I opened my heart more to listen, and finally, I find a way to go. On those is what. Not the best, but at least there's a way to go. Yeah, thank you for God.